Good morning, TikTok. Uh, in a couple of hours, I'm going to be heading to the city, uh, mainly for social browsing and coffee and stuff with my friend Simon, but also to track down dupes of stereo rows. I've only got a little bit left, and while I've got the dribs and drabs that I can still swatch, I thought I'm going to swatch all the suggestions, not all, but the main popular suggestions that were left here on um, YouTube, on Instagram, and I'm going to track them down and swatch compare them. All right, we're in Mecca. Simon's here, and we're in Mecca. Uh, I'll turn you around. All right, hourglass, incandescent Electra. This is the lighting blush, story lighting blush. I've got it swatched. Um, so the one up the top it, that's nice and glowy, stereo rose. One down the bottom that's a bit more chalky and pale. This sad sack, not the same. All right, we're still in Mecca. This is the RMS Hydra Powder Blush uh, in the shade French Rose, which was a popular recommendation. It's very pink, too blushy, pretty, but not the same. So Mecca hasn't come through with the goods, sadly. All right, now we're heading to Mac. All right, now we're starting with Petal Power Mineralized Blush. I, I know for a fact this is too blushy. I was wrong. This is just like a got a gold shimmer, but it's quite subtle. A little bit more pink, but it's very Nars Orgasm. All right, next one, same formula, New Romance. This actually is quite similar. It's just a little bit more cool tone. So a bit more Barbie pink rather than a coral, but and a little bit more pink based. All right, we're down to the Extra Dimension Blushes. This is the shade Sweet for My Sweet. Sweets for My Sweet. Too dark. Nice finish, but too dark. It's that one there. I'm also going to swatch these two. Got Fairly Precious and Into the Pink. All right, these ones actually look more similar. Uh, again, you've got a cool tone one. I like the orange one. It's not the same, but it's a similar finish and it's pretty tone. Last MAC one, this is going to be Cheeky Bronze Mineralized Skin Finish, so same formula. People have been suggesting this. I know it's too bronze, but I'll show you the difference. And this is the color if I didn't show it. Did I? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What's happening? Looks really, really, really gold compared to it. But that's the offerings from MAC. All pretty. Very pretty. Mm. Fresh swatch for Priceline. Most recommended baked blushes are by far by Milani. Um, we've only got four in Australia. Luminoso, Berry, Rose and Pink. They've got longer names, but that is essentially it. I'm going to swatch them all compared to this. All right, they didn't quite hit it. They're very bronzy. The pink one's probably the best tone, but it's very blushy and a little bit like chunky sparkles, not as smooth. Uh, Luminoso is the smoothest, but it's also very peachy. It does, still doesn't have that luminosity. There's something about that that these just don't really have. There were some suggestions for the balm. We don't actually have too many, and some of the ones that we, that we don't have testers, so I can't test them. I used to have Mary Lou and also Cindy Lou, the pinky one. That's If it was there, I would swatch it, but... Um, we're limited, we're limited, but look, see that, look at that glow, it's not being captured by the other ones. These were the most suggested and this is what I remember them being, not, not quite what I was after. So we're going to head to, hang on. Where are we going next? We're going to go to Sephora. There's been yeah. no suggestions of Sephora ones, but we're going to look anyway. We're ready to swatch. We are. Bye, Priceline. I just smelt the candle I wanted to smell. We were in uh, Peter Alexander. Yeah. What do you think, Simon? I thought the candles were nice. Sweet, but they're nice. See, I love strawberry. Yeah. I have a strawberry Bath and Body Works one at the moment. Mm. I don't like it lit, and I feel like that would be similar. Yeah. I don't smell the plastic doll accord. I was hoping for it to smell more like a plastic doll. It was just very, very sweet strawberry. I don't feel like I need to spend 60 bucks on it. The one I liked the most was probably the popcorn one. There is a nice coffee one. Oh. It actually mm. smells like popcorn. 
I do, I do like smell coffee. All right, we're now going to Sephora. Yeah, swatching. Swatching. Nothing, nothing. A lot of brands don't even have blushes. We have discovered a really beautiful highlighter though by Burberry. Ooh. This babe is that babe and it is, ah, oh, divine. I've also found the Yucca palette. Here's some swatchy swatches and the liners, which I've also swatched. I don't need this. Looking at it in person, it's pretty. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it time and time again. So we're leaving Sephora. See ya, hun. You're boring. See ya. See ya, Simon. All right, I'm back home after my swatch fest in the city, and I think it was helpful. Um, it ruled out the majority of the suggestions that or the common suggestions I had on my videos for a MAC Stereo Rose dupe and it also solidified that I think I have bought so far what I found to be the closest dupe which I have them here. Look at that it looks pretty damn close. All right the one closest to the eyeliners is Stereo Rose and the one closest to my thumb is the Bobbi Brown um sunset glow so di like there's differences to it but the color's pretty similar um sunset glow is a little bit uh the shimmer is a little bit less pink and a little bit more sort of goldy champagne colored but on the face they look very very similar that's just a reminder see look they're very similar so i think um, out of all the suggestions, I have purchased the one that is closest. It wasn't fruitful in terms of finding a dupe, but it was really great at ruling out a lot of them. And I also realized that all day I've had my top on backwards, whatever. Um, so what am I going to do now? I'm not going to, this is not the end of the search. What this has actually made me do, uh, I don't know if you saw my TikTok from last night. There was a Bare Minerals highlighter. It's an old one in the shade Joy. This one. It's definitely more orangey peachy than Stereo Rose, but it's definitely a highlighter that adds a bit of like color to the cheeks. It's got a perfect score from Temtalia. I ended up ordering it online uh, from Mecca. There is a delay with shipping, so it's gonna take a little while to get here, but I ended up ordering that one. Before I do like a demo video on YouTube about my findings and the things that I've found that give her a similar effect or whatever. Um, I do want to wait for the Bare Minerals highlighting blushes to release in Australia. So as soon as they release in Mecca, I might head down and do another swatch video. Um, Cindy also suggested some baked uh, uh, Makeup Revolution things. So I'll look into that. So there's a couple of loose ends that I want to tie up, um, but I, I feel like we've had a productive day. So the, the search is not over. It's not concluded, but we're majority of the way there, which is good.